Such is life on the road for Steve. All right. All right, let's try and get you somewhere. Let's take you guys to where you were. If I do activate. Okay. What I don't know is if I gave you guys light. Let's see if you guys have light. Uh, I want to see a little porous token real quick. I did give her light. All right, so you both can see the room. All right, cool. So this is where you are. Um, let's see. Yep, you can see. Vicky can see most of it because she's in the side of the room. She can't see the people in the corner of the room. But that's okay. Keeps her on her toes. All right. All right. So uh, here you are. You're um, just uh, ran out of room with a dragon turtle. Hey, how about that? <laughs> Run away. Now where you going? Both, like doors, both doors are closed because that's the way the game loaded him. Everyone here? What do you want to do? Um, well, does anyone need a rest or healing potions or anything before we go on? Uh, you do, do you see your... Does everyone see their little bar of hit points? Yes. All right, that's making sure. So, uh, Dayla, so everyone looks pretty full, but Daedalus is at, is at full. He is uninjured. I think you and Dorigal are the only ones who are injured. It doesn't look that like that much based on the token, but you know, hey. Yeah, no, it's good. <clears throat> so you can well, move around the map, by move, the way. I guess and I guess the opposite direction of where that is. And I guess what some this reminds some people, if you use the scroll wheel on your mouse, that yeah. will make the map get bigger or smaller. And if you drag using the right mouse button, that's how you move the map around as well. So you can like pick it up and move the map left, right, center, or whatever. Just to make sure y'all can do your thing. Okay. And I gotta say, I'm sitting at 65% CPU and I've got half my memory and my that's this looks like it's gonna work. Awesome. Cool. All right. Cool. Even though there's like five of us on here. All right, cool. So you wanna so that door on the uh east is where you came from. And Lightfinger, if you wanna open it, you can just click on the damn thing. All right. I am gonna do that. Let's see. All right. And you have I'm been here before, but the what's going stuff on. is all right. Yeah. And because other people as well, just so you know, if you hold down your control button and drag with your left mouse key, you can make uh, a line for you want to walk. That's out of curiosity. If you let go of your mouse key and then uh, move it somewhere else or click, make a click and then keep clicking around, you can make a lot of zigzaggings. by, And then when you're done... Take your finger off the mouse and hit the space bar. <laughs> wow. It's a little bit better. All right, where are we going? I actually have to uh... pick something else up.
I'm not sure we checked out south, so we can try that. You you have. I'll I'll tell you that. I mean, we can you can go down there for sure. Nothing else that will refresh your um what you call it, right? Because we switched games, but you had been down there before. I'll tell you that. Uh, we okay. are we in south. Well, you went across that bridge. That's how you got here. No, no. The, the, on this side of the bridge. We haven't been down here. Uh, oh, so. oh, no. That, that side, probably not. You're correct. Oh, I'm moving Vicky's by mistake. Sorry. I'm trying to move data lists around. And it's cool for me when I click on your token, I automatically get to see your line of sight. Did you close this door on yourself, Dom? Click on the door, it reopens. There you go. Oh, I didn't realize it was yeah. open. Yeah, we're fancy. Green is entirely black. Is it for you? No, it's not. Well, it is because you haven't walked around there yet. But I can't even see my character to move him. Uh, uh, you should be able to. You just probably moved away from she the might have, screen. She might have scrolled out really, really far. Yeah, she probably did. <clears throat> I see your mouse. Keep going east. More east. I can't, I can't see anything, so I don't know where I am. Right click hold 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 with your right mouse button and drag so you are moving east there you go you just moved your mouse over your dude i'm doing it blindly i don't see anything all right i'll come upstairs one second folks Lightfinger, you have your own light, right? Yeah. All right. So if I look at you, token, vision, 2020, little Pora, token, vision, you should be able to see. I'm just going to blow away your token and make a new one. Give me a second here. Uh, boom. Is that any better, Vic? Uh, should I refresh my screen or something? No. I see your mouse moving. I don't know if you have a bad connection because you went upstairs and now you're not getting good enough internet to do the stream. I do not know. It should work. You mean other people could be... 
like in a different town and I can't be on another floor? No. What can I tell you? It's your internet. I don't know what your connection we get up from upstairs. It says you're connected. I don't understand why it stopped working because you went upstairs. But I look at your token and I can click on your token and your token has sight. I can look at each token, including yours, and you have sight. I can even I can... move it to where you're put your keep your mouse still. Move your mouse back to where it was. Go go right. 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 Stop. You're right over your token. Do you not see it? I don't. I just see the that my pointer arrow turns into a little hand. Okay. I try refreshing your screen. You mean you gonna have to log in again, but refresh your web page wrap browser. The whole thing? Everything? Refresh your web browser. All right. I mean, just refresh the web page or something. Like, I assume because you went upstairs, you were somehow, something got fudged up. It was working fine when I was upstairs. It wasn't until I went to move, but hold on. I Yeah, I don't know. All right. I'm seeing stuff now. I'm seeing stuff. Okay, cool. All right. Sorry about that. If that's the only technical glitch we get the rest of the way, I'm happy. All right, uh, where are we going? I'm following Durable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm following Daedalus. Daedalus isn't moving. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> He's like, what is this place? Where am I? Okay, hold on a second. I'm trying to move. Little poor is going off on her own little... Uh, her own little like adventure over there. You I'm just go. making sure my thing can move. I right. uh, if you find somebody. I found a door. All right. Sounds like something to do. Ah, what did I do? My bad. Uh -uh. How do I move again so the map moves with me? Drag with your right mouse button. Click and drag with your right mouse button. Can you do that? Yeah. All right, good. All right. It looks like everyone's lined up. What well, are we doing? I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen at the door. Give me a perception check. All right. You mean just Jim or everybody? Uh, he's the one listening to the, at the door. Just so you know, I turned black again, but then I refreshed my screen and it fixed it. Yeah, I'm wondering if you're getting a good enough internet connection from your bedroom. That way that you're starting to get out of the range of the router. Do we still have the router booster up here? Nope. Oh. Didn't usually need it, but that's all I can think of. I mean, not sure. <laughs> I'm going to say that um, with a 13, yeah, I mean, you hear, like, can't quite tell what it is, but there's maybe something behind the door. Um, occasional sound, not exactly sure. I want to know. I'm going to open it. Click on it. Oh, boy. And you got some trolls. Yep. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So the room is filthy. The walls are crumbling and crooked. The heaps of uncured <clears throat> pelts and hides strewn across the floor from a, form a crude, foul-smelling carpet. Gnawed bones and broken crockery are scattered about with a few odds and ends, pieces of armor, mostly bent and twisted. Badly scored in by claw marks. 
doors lead north, which was you came from, and west. Um, uh, you, you got some trolls. You got anything? They kind of turn and look at you and look you up and down and say, you know, what does the little man want? <laughs> Very suspiciously, mind you. Hmm. Your inspection. Well, I'd like to introduce myself, I think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. Okay. It's, it's kind of like say, looking at you, like, okay. Yeah, I'm going to say we got lost, and uh, maybe if you could help us try to find our way. Maybe we'll just eat you instead. Let's try and spin initiative. So be it. <laughs> it was a boring conversation anyway. <laughs> All right, let's do some initiative. All right. All right, I do Dayless. Uh, oh, well, there you go. I'm hearing dice. I'm not seeing initiatives. I somehow rolled up twice. Uh, let's see. Interesting. So, okay. Let's see if I can... If I click on it, what'd you spin? I spun 17 first, and then I spun a 5. 17 works for me. Can I edit this? Let's see if I can edit this. Uh, update combatant. Initial. No, wait a minute. Now it says I spun again. I don't remember spinning again. I don't know. I gave you the 17. A uh, little poor. Looks like she has a eight. I think it's because I'm trying to um, figure out how to uh, put people in. Everlight and Lightfinger. Um, so, go ahead. If you scroll up, you you'll see where I rolled. I got a twelve. Uh, I'm looking at the combat tracker, and Everlight and Lila Pora are in the combat tracker. And I'm in the combat tracker twice. I don't see it twice. I see two trolls. I yeah, see I see, I see myself at seventeen and I myself at five. I see that too. That's just weird. I don't see the combat tracker at all. Oh, well you have to go do you see where your dice your dice numbers spun? Yes. At the top, there's like a little button that looks like it says chat log. It has two little talky things. Next to that is a fist. If you click on the fist, it will switch to show you the initiative order. Okay, I see that. All right, so Everlight got a... 12. There he is, a 12. I tried to do it from Game to Beyond just to see, and it gave me that VTT not found again. Where do you spin oh, for this? I think you got. I think. I think every time you switch maps, it will probably ask you to refresh, which is really oh, annoying. Okay. I did not have to do that, but oh well, I don't know. What'd you spin, Lightfinger? Well, I, oh, you want to know how to do it inside your character? Where sheet? do I spin it in VTT? I forgot. Oh wait, uh, no, I'm sorry. I see it. Yeah, okay. I got it. It's been there. You go. Yeah, I didn't. It's fourteen. It. It's in the tracker now. I see it. Anyway. It is, but it's not coming up there. Interesting. Well, we'll see what other kind of little. No, it's stuff. in the it's in the combat tracker. All I right. see. I see light fingers at fourteen in the combat tracker. Yeah, I had to do it manually. I think it's all good. All right. So data list is up. Um. How come I don't see the bad guys in the combat, the combat tracker? tracker? Try refreshing your web browser and see if it comes up. 
because I don't know what else to say because I, I see it. So I'll have to try and research to see why that's happening. It also says not started. So it, it, it may be. It should be now. It started on my end. It sounds like it's just not coming through. I'm not sure. I'll have to Google it later. If you refresh your web browser, does it show up correctly? Oh, interesting. One second. Oh, there you go. There's two encounters. I must have did a second one by mistake. That's what happened. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh. There you go. I must have clicked twice on the encounter or made two. You can have separate initiatives. I see it. So that's why we we're seeing double. Okay. DM misclick. Now we're good. Like if you like if if like little Pora decided to wander off to some other part of the dungeon while everyone else was fighting over here, I could have a second initiative order if she found something and I could do and uh two initiative orders if I really felt like it. <clears throat> All right. All right, so Daedalus has to do something. Uh Daedalus yeah. <laughs> If he goes, he can only move 30. So his, uh, whoop. If he goes there, 20, he can see the corner of the token. So I'm going to have him do, trolls are pretty freaking strong. So I don't feel the need to do the, the graspy hand thing. But uh, fireball would be really cool. Let's see. I'm going to do a fireball. Uh, boom. Attack. Normal. Uh, he hits. And damage. Uh, normal. And he does 13 fire damage. So I'm going to click on him and do that and do that. And he is damaged. Now, you don't see a damage bar on him, do you? No. Troll, no. All right. I see one on Daedalus. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I'll just say that he is he is injured. I'll let you know when they become whatever. I'll have to work on the tags to... Uh, There we go. If I click there and there, do I have a, a a status tag for that? I don't really see a good one for that. So, all right. Oh, there it is. Is it bleeding? Diseased, corroding, radioactive. All right. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. I I will give him a a burning tag temporarily because I do want him to be so marked. All right. Oh, by the way, to remind you, if you click on the little fisty that marks this tab, you can pop out the initiative tracker to a separate window. Dorgal, you're up. All right, I'm going to move all of seven feet. Okay. Uh, um, <clears throat> and I'm going to attack the troll. Go for it. Ooh, that hurts. So you could do double Please. damage, and it there's a exactly okay, yeah. But I'm I'm an orc. Don't I do triple damage? I uh, you might. I have to check it out. What does it say? Don't I have like enhanced criticals or something like that? Uh probably. 
I can double check in your feature and traits. Let's take a look. Um, uh, Savage Attack. When you score a critical hit, roll one of the dice an additional time and add it to the extra damage. You get an extra die, correct. But it's not double it the dice. Good. It's an extra die. All right, so I'm doing one-handed damage, so I do six. I do critical damage, I do one. Uh, but uh, how do I roll an extra die? Good question. Probably down at the bottom where it says public roll. Let me try slash R 1D6. Does that work? Yes, it does. So you do it just like in D and D and in roll twenty down in the in the thing. Slash R, and that's going to be D. Do I? Uh, I forget what my damage is. Eight, I think. I uh, you can, I think if you. Yeah, D, it's D eight. Yeah, there's a way to see your damage to see this dice spin. Oh, good. Much better. So that would be 8 and 7 is 15, right? Yep. Okay. He's he's a hurting. All right. It is the other troll's turn. And... Oh, there's a tasty treat right over here. Uh, a snack, really. Yep, yep, yep. Uh... Oh, okay, sure. So it is going to do a uh, two claws and a bite attack. So a bite and a claw. And another claw. So probably the one claw hit with the 25. Okay. You take 11 damage. Okay. And you could try it through your character sheet, or I could try it, or however you want to do it. No, I got it. I think um, I put a negative 11 here, and it automatically updates it. Yep, okay. Awesome sauce. And you are up. All right, I'm going to attack the one down here with uh, um, Dorigo. You okay? You can do that. Go for it. Short sword. That's going to hit. Okay. And that would be ten, but you gotta do your your special damage. There it is. So that looks like uh twenty two total. Yep. He is most definitely bloodied. <clears throat> All right. Everlight, you're up. Okay. Since I can't see much, I think I need to... I'm going to have to walk into the room past Little Pora. Okay. Let's see how far that is. That's 15 feet. You can do that. Hit the space bar would move you automatically. It says the attempted token movement collides with at least one wall. Oh, uh, well, you got to be a little bit... Yeah, you got to go there and then go down one. That would be 20 feet. And then down one. There you go. Okay, so... The one towards your south is the one that's bloodied. The one to your east is undamaged. Hmm. I think I'll attack the one to the east. Go for it. <coughs> I'll use my 
Longbow. Uh, the nine's going to miss. Go again. Yeah, you get two attacks. Oh, yeah, you know what? I didn't take my second attack. Oh, well, I'll let you do that in a second. Uh, in fact, you might as well do it at the same time. Uh, the 21 hits. Go ahead and do your damage. Nine it is. Thirteen does not hit. All right, uh, Everlight, you've got another ten feet of movement. Are you happy where you are? Yes. Okay. All right, Troll's turn. Troll is going to. Let's see. Ah, throwing dice around. I think it's going to pick on the little guy who just did like 20 some points of damage to him. Oh. You know what? He can do it. He can do it this way. He's going to do... No, I guess he will. He's pissed off. He has to hit you first. One more claw attack. Oh, I guess I got to spend the damage. You already you rolled two claw attacks. Yeah, yeah, I got to do damage. He only hit once. Oh. I, I meant... I said I didn't. I knew what I meant. I said the wrong thing. Uh, you take ten points. Okay, I'll use uh, uncanny. Okay. He dodged a half it. You you got it. I'm just gonna mark something here on you. Remember that you dodged. So you take five instead. Yep. A little poorer. You're up to bat. Okay. Uh, let's see how I roll. I will flail. All right, where you where you gonna go? Uh, the one to the south is bloodied. The one to the east is slightly damaged. I'll go for the east one. All right. So why don't you uh, move over there? Move like one down and two over, or something like that. That's the only really unoccupied space. Wow, you're underneath uh, the work right now. There you go. All right, cool. Spin your damn it. Spin your spin your spin your things. I'm trying to use the one at the bottom. All good. Uh, start hitting attack. Right? So it came up, right? Do you see over on the right-hand side where it says flail plus... There you go. I'll shut up. It's just delayed. Gotcha. If you want, you can spin attack again, and you can have both attacks before you start spinning your damage. Or you could just spin your damage because you did hit. Okay, he takes seven. You get a second attack. Uh, was that a... What did I roll? You rolled damage. No, no. Before that, I got... Okay, so I, I, I guess... I got an 18. Uh, right, an 18 to hit, and then I, I, I did seven points of damage. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. You get a second attack if you want to spin another to hit roll. Uh, that will miss. 
Are you done? Is anybody hurt? Uh, the gu uh, yeah, Lightfinger is is kind of damaged. He is almost at half. It looks like. Yeah. Um. You're gonna need a bonus action though to do anything. Right. So, uh, is my shield of faith a bonus action? Uh, it is a bonus action, and it is creature of your choice. Uh, it is. If you want to cost Goose Shield of Faith on him, you can. Yeah, I want to do that. Okay. So, do I have to click on him or something, or I can just cast it? Just cast it. It's fine. Did you cast it? Well, I tried to do it from D and D Beyond, and it didn't do anything that I can tell. So I'm trying to open up my character sheet on the Foundry, and it's not it hasn't done that yet. Oh, interesting. Ah, okay. Here we go. So I can go into my spell book. And shield of faith, and I guess I could just click on it. And cast spell. It looks like it cast it on you. You, I see the well, what... icon on you. No, I put the icon on her. She's fine. Oh, is that consternation? Yeah, this reminds me that she has it. All right, so that used up a spell slot, maybe? Yes. All right, good. Cool beans. Good do well done. All right, so that will be it. So, Lightfinger, your AC is too high. Or you've got a 19 armor class. Okay. Uh, it's Daylis' turn. And. Dalis is going to do his uh, fireball thing. Does he get multiple attacks? Let's see. He gets... Oops. Oh, no. He just, he just has 2d10. Okay, cool. He will sh go fireballing because that's what you do to trolls. Whoops. Did it take over? It did not. I'm not going to do that. I want to use... I want to get used to these new character sheets. So, fireball away. Attack. Mm -hmm. Uh, he missed. Dorgal, you're up. All right. I'm just going to attack. That's a hit. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right, I do eight damage. Why is it eight? Oh, I don't know. I thought I added the two together. It's four damage. I do four damage. All right. That is your first attack. That will hit as well. See, I told you I did eight damage. You were right. Why did I doubt you? After all these years, I should not doubt you. Okay. Um, okay. Troll's turn. Um, the troll by Little Pora. As you watch, you see the skin start to knit back together. The troll looks a little healthier. Damn trolls. I tell you. Um, uh, 
this troll is he's gonna go after little poor big big bigger target this time it's a miss that's a hit that's a miss actually your armor class is 20 right little poor Yes. 19, 20, something like that. Okay, so you did it once. Okay. Little poor, you take 10. How do I do that? You you can right click on your token and then where see it says uh, 54. Yeah. You can type over that minus 10 and hit enter. Put the negative and the 10? Negative 10, yes. If and then enter? Yep. Okay. There you go. If you just put 10, it will give you 10 hit points. If you do minus 10, it will do minus 10. So how does it get to my D&D &D character sheet? You would have to, you have to go and do the thing with the red die again at the top and try and get it to remember your character. Nah, just type 10 in that. That's what I figure. It's it's not as connected, but on the other hand, it's much easier to roll in Foundry. So I'm kind of I'm kind of not missing D&D &D Beyond, but I like it for character sheets because it's easy for me to look at it later on. All right. Lightfinger, you're up. All right. I will attack. Oh, by the way, I'm um, before I do that, a little poor, could you please make a um, a constitution, uh, save, please. Or concentration spell. Well, it's still, it's still, it's still, it's still constitution. Do a constitution check, please. So you have to go into your attributes and click on probably constitution when it glows red over on the, um, yeah, that's it. Okay, you good. All right, so back to Lightfinger. Lightfinger, you still have the spell. Lepore's concentration was not broken. Okay. So you I still will, uh, Go ahead. I'll attack the ball to the south. Go for it. Uh, that is a miss. Yeah. Anything else? No, nope, I'm good. Okie dokie. Everlight. Okay. Since uh, Lightfinger's uh, taking some uh, hits, I'm wondering if I should use my Cure Wound spell on him. Sure, you can if you want. Okay. Okay, you'll have to move like five feet closer to him. So, like, you're right and making a little square there with uh, right behind little Pora because it's a touch spell, you got to be within five feet of him. So, he's got to move okay. one space closer. All right, uh, actually, do you have any of those spells left? I think you're out. Let's see, what does it say here? All right, well, this says you had one more, so now you probably don't. Okay. And then I'm going to attack the troll to my east with the longbow. No, you can't do both. Okay. Because of both actions. I see. So uh, it, does, it doesn't go both ways. So... Um, Yeah, I think you're done for now. Okay. Unless you want to move somewhere. You can still move further or somewhere else if you want. If you're happy here, it's all good. Did Lightfinger get his 10 hit points? I didn't see his bar move. 
Uh, Lightfinger, can you give yourself 10 hit points? I want me to do it. Maybe he stepped away, I'll do it. Okay, I got it. All right, all right, I'll shut up. All right, you got it. He's got it. All right, troll number two. <laughs> he also starts to stitch together a little bit. And let's see. Since the little guy isn't bothering him, he's going to go for the big bad orc. Sixteen doesn't sound very good for hitting, at least. Certainly not a ten. Certainly not a thirteen. Never mind. Little Pora. Okay, I will attack the same troll. Go for it. That's a hit. That's two hits. I need uh, two damage rolls, please. Seven and another seven. All right. Anything else? You're not doing any smiting or anything like that, right? No. Okay. All right. Daedalus. Uh, what does this guy have? Um, he'll move five feet closer to us so we can see everybody. He feels relatively safe there. And he's going to do his firebolt thing. And uh, I'm going to do that for a second. He reminds everybody that setting trolls on fire stops them from regenerating. Or doing fire damage to them stops them from regenerating. And he will do a firebolt at the more wounded one to the south. And he hits. Well, a crappy spin, but at least the troll will not regenerate this round towards the south. Uh, we'll go that one there. Actually, you've had a turn since then. I should remove that marker from you. Dorgal, you're up. That's going to hit. <clears throat> oh, that's a good one. Second attack. That is not going to hit. The troll to the south is looking a little rough. <clears throat> uh, it is... The trolls to the east turn. He continues to look a little healthier. And um, yeah, he's going to stay. Actually, he should have stayed on a little poor since no one's really bothering us him right now. Lightfinger ain't doing his thing. 
give me a bite. Claw. And a... Oh, wait. Oops, I hit the damage button by mistake. My bad. Getting ahead of myself. Well, that hit. I'll say that did 13 damage. And then the second one... What's your armor class? Is it 19 or 20, little poor? 20. Yeah, you suck. All right. Well, you got hit once. You take 13 damage. Ooh. Lightfinger, you're up. Lightfinger, you there? Lightfinger, Jim, Bueller. <laughs> oh, he can hear me. Oh, I hear him. I think I hear him now. Can you hear me now? Now we can hear you. Yeah. That's weird. I don't know. Okay. What All I right. asked was Am I able to use the improvised weapon? Um, to uh, use a torch to set the troll south of me on fire. Um, he's already on. He already has taken fire damage, so he's he's good for a round. But if you want right, to use, the, if you want to go for the tor the one on the east, you you can do so. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna set the one on the east on fire. Uh, spin the hit. Okay. What do I hit? What do I try to hit with though? Like, um, I mean, it's a torch. <laughs> so I just roll a d twenty. Uh, yeah, roll roll a regular attack. It's just a stick. Oh. You should be proficient in, in a pointed stick. Go for it. Okay. That will hit. Um. Spin a D4 worth of damage. 1D4. Okay. The slash R space, 1D4. Oh, hold on. Oh, very good. Okay. And I will say he is on fire. Everlight. The troll to the south is looking pretty rough. The one to the east is fairly healthy. They are they are both have taken some fire damage. Okay. I'm gonna go with the one to the south. Go, go for it. Bow. Uh that's a miss. I was a crappy spin for you. Was that a, was that a one? That was 11. <clears throat> 23 hits. Uh, it does 8. You do better than that. Hold on one second. Maybe you don't. No, it's right. Never mind. All right, he takes eight. Do not, do not doubt the automation. Yeah. All right. Troll to South turn. Uh, yeah. I think the York still seems like the bigger threat right now. We're going to stick with that. That's a miss. Um, sure. That's a hit. That's a hit. 
So two claws. He does 10 plus 10. 20 points to the to uh, Dorigal. All right, hold on a second. Rip this orc to pieces. A little poorer, you're up. I heard you. Okay. That's a hit. That will also be a hit. Two hits. Uh, seven, that's fine. Second hit. I want to roll my own independent eight, a D8, because I don't like that number. You don't like that number? Well, then I don't know. Why are you going to roll it? You have no dice. Can I do public roll? Do slash R space one D8 plus five. Like that. Ah, the troll actually said it. That was awesome. Did somebody zoom in? I suppose so. Someone moved something. I don't know how that happened. I didn't move it. I, I don't know. Vic, are you going to uh, spin that? Dear. Yeah, hold on. There we go. Hey, she did better. Uh, 17 total. Okay. Oh, it's because I, I typed some text and it zoomed. It, it, it centers around the text. That was fun. Daedalus is going to fire the one at the bottom. Fifteen hits exactly. He does five. And the troll is... Still on fire, and I will say he is critical. Dorigal. Uh, misses by one. Misses by two. All right. The one to the east. 
He's going after little Pora. That's a miss. Misses by one. Misses by one. Light finger. Okay. If you're saying something, I'm not hearing you again. Just saying. Ah, I heard something in the background. Uh, that's definitely a hit. Which one are you going after there? Jim, your audio has disappeared again. Is anyone hearing me besides me? I, I can, can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. I'm just making sure it's not a me thing. One to the south of you. You got it. 12 plus. Hear that? Now I hear you. What happens to your mic? It seems like it goes funky there for a second. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. 26. All right. He is... Uh... He is dead. And I will do that with... Hold on. Nope. Yep. Boom. All right, I want to um, just use my bonus disengage action. Okay. And I'm going to move behind Dorgal. No problem. Coward. <laughs> <laughs> you bet your ass. I'm good. Everlight, you're up. Okay, once again with the longbow. All right, there's only one left. He is still only injured. He is not yet uh, bloodied. Okay. Okay. Twenty-two hits. Ten and second attack. Fifteen hits exactly. Eighteen. <clears throat> Little Pora. Oh, I'm up. You're up the bat. Ooh. Uh, this time when you spin damage, tell it to do double damage. Yep. That sucks. That does suck. Uh, that's not that bad. She rolled like a three and a four or a five and a two or something like that. A one so and one a, of the dice was a one and a six. Yeah. There you go. You can't get much. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that also hits. Other damage. 
It's coming. All right. Another eight. He's he's getting pretty shabby. Dalis is going to do his thing. Oh no, he doesn't. He does not. He does not hit. Dorgal. I I'm guarantee. Try to move five feet. Go for it. No problem. There we go. I'm going to say, when Steve comes back to play his character, he will never cast as many firebolts as I am throwing to the past <laughs> couple of weeks. Uh, second one hits. <clears throat> Additional eight. I will say it is the troll's turn. He is critical, and then he heals a bit, and he's not really critical, or not as critical. Um, yep. Yeah. Hello? I'm here. Oh, okay. Is it my turn or? Nope. The troll's going to do his thing. Okay. Oh, he's going to try. One miss. One miss. The dragonborn's armor and scales are too tough for him. Lightfinger, you're up. Okay, so what I want to try is I'm going to move right behind Dorgal, right? Okay. I'm going to use my bonus action to attempt to hide with the halfling ability because Dorgal is one size larger than me. Sure. I can try to hide behind him. I just need to know what to roll. Uh, stealth. Okay. That will be your action, though. That will be your 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 attack kind of action. Okay. Um, so you can't really attack if you do that. Let me think about that for a minute. Uh, even if I'm using my well, even if I'm using the highs, my cunning action bonus. Oh, action if now? you're doing that, yes, I'm sorry. If you're doing as your bonus act, I'm I forgot yeah. you can do that. Yes, 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 yes. So uh, as so, you, no problem, uh, hide away. Okay. Um. Oh shit. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. You're hiding behind him. Did you see that roll? Oh, I am. Okay. Um, so then if I'm hiding, I can, I'm going to use my short bow to attack with advantage. Oh, I see. Okay. Got to spin the attack. Um, attack with advantage. Okay. No hit. Okay. All right, so 19. Yep. Yeah, that's enough. He's gone. <laughs> Dalis instructs little Pora to light him on fire with her torch. Or he could just firebolt him. He could. He could firebolt <laughs> him with advantage. He could do that too, just for kicks. 
just so I can do an advantage spin. There, now he's dead. Oh, he'll stay dead to be quite, quite precise. Okay. All right, let's search. Uh, sure. You could do uh, a search if you want. Do a investigation. Uh, not investigation. Probably more of a perception, but just so I can do it as well. All right. I mean, you're just finding. You're just finding a bunch of shit. It's a dirty hole. Any armor or weapons are, you know, broken or damaged. There's not really anything of value. Damn trolls. Uh, there's a door to the east. Do you guys want to take a short rest? I could use it. All right. If I look on the, if you want to do it via foundry, you can look on your, um, right underneath where it says hit dice on your character sheet, there's a button there that says short rest. If you click on that, you can, you can, uh, you can try to roll it, do your thing. Don't care how you do it. Just saying if you want to do it the new character sheet way, you can do it that way. Very nice. The Lepora Dorgal. Yeah, I'm studying this. Okay. Oh, I get it. All right, that's interesting. That sounds looks like it's even better than the D and D Beyond to recover. Yeah. All right. Do I click rest or do I close it? Click rest. Yeah, but to say probably click rest. There you go. Uh, one second. Um. You know what? Since you did it, Daedalus will take a short rest. He will see how he does this. You recover limited abilities. So it looks like the new days recover limited use abilities, which recharge per day. Let's try that. See what happens. Uh, rest. And this says he takes a short rest. All right. But I can go into maybe features. Let's see. Here it is. Arcane, rec arcane recovery. Um. 
usability. Okay, so he used his arcane rest ability, and he is going. I looks like I have to do it manually, but I'm going to reclaim his one of his third level spell slots, so he's back to two. All right. We be good. All right. I'll listen at this door. To the uh, east. Perception, please. Yes. <clears throat> perception. Seems pretty quiet. I'll open it. Okay. And I will, in stealth, walk down the corridor. All right, you can spend a stealth check. Okay. Okay. You seem pretty, seem pretty stealthy. Maybe not as stealthy as you usually are, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll peek around this corner. Okay. Anybody coming with? Uh, sure. Oh, I thought you were stealthy. Sure. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm moving up a little by myself. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll check up the north corner a little bit. In stealth. That's fine. I mean, you can see it takes you back to somewhere you were already. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure where we've been before, though, on this map. Is that the bridge we crossed over there to the west? Uh, no, it's different. Oh, okay. Let's check that out. Let's check that bridge out. All right, go for it. You still stealthing? Yes. All right. Hold on one second. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Why'd I do that? I have no idea. Uh, let's do let's do this. Uh, sure. Okay. Going across the bridge? Yes. Seems like, I mean, I'll just, just read the see if there's a description for it. Let's see. Um, so it's similar to the other bridge, which spans the canal. Uh, the sides of the bridge are carved in the image of dragons standing guard over treasure hordes. Um, and you got a single torch doing the bridge. All right. We'll cross over. Okay. I'm going to check out north. All right. So one second. So as Dorgo crosses the bridge. Okay. Um... Another troll pops out of the water. Oh, crap. And uh, you got across because you were stealthing, but he's he's like, he's basically, who are you? Why are you trying to cross this bridge? Really? A troll under a bridge? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's challenging you, Dorigal. All right. Well, I'm just a little billy goat gruff. <laughs> and if you wait, 
coming up behind me is a much bigger half dragon, the dragonborn, who says she can kick your ass and has been talking <laughs> trash about you all day. <laughs> and so if you let me pass, she'll come up behind me and you can teach her a lesson. <laughs> He's like, I hate that. I hate that nursery rhyme. <laughs> All right. I guess we got to spin initiative one more time. All right. Uh, a uh, little poor and Everlight. Okay, initiative. You can even just go into the combat tracker and click the little die if you want. Little poor. Little poor. Vic, you there? Did we lose her? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just going to spin for her. No, wait. Well, then spin. I'm working on it. You're not even saying anything. We don't know nothing. Yes, I was. I can't help you. You can't hear me. No one else heard you either. Okay. Well, I can't help. This thing is glitchy. Yeah, I think Discord's having sound issues. Could be. Are you going to spin? Yep. It says on my end she spun an 11. Yeah, I did that. Then she got upset, but I'm still waiting for her to, hit a, to spin an 11 or spin something. I'm working on it. All right. It says game is paused. Yes, it's paused. I paused it, but you can still spin. All right, one moment. I can unpause it. It won't make a difference. I'm really curious about what you're doing. All right. I spent a 16 on D&D &D Beyond. Okay, fine. I got to say, you're you're very picky on your virtual dice. That's because I don't like rolling the same dice number over and over again. I have very strong feelings that there's something wrong with it. All right. Well, Dalis is going to do what Dalis is going to do. Eh, but he's not going to do it. Troll's turn. He just hates those nursery rhymes. Yeah. So, what's your armor class? Is it 19? 20? 20. All right, he only hit with the critical then. Uh, can Daedalus do something about that? Uh, he's out of that. He ran out of that last week. He needs a long rest to get them back. It's, on, it's only a claw. It's 19. 
At least it wasn't the bite. All right, little poor, you're up. Uh, you're nowhere close to him. You're all the way back there. Oh, wait a minute. I took like... Whoa. Something, something went wrong with my damage. Did you type 19 as opposed to minus 19? I did it in D&D &D Beyond. Oh. And D&D &D Beyond threw me an error. Oh, yeah. I guess Dean... So you were pretty close to full, weren't you? Yeah, I was. I was at 47. All right, so 47 minus 19 then. Just type the number that comes out to be. So let's see, that's uh, 15 feet. You can move another three squares of... Well, okay, four, three, four squares forward. You could use the thing next time. I don't know how far you move. You move 30. All right, that's as far as you can move. You can throw a javelin if you want, which is kind of... Uh, up over the bridge. Well, he's kind of standing on the bridge. He was a big troll. You can throw a javelin on him, or you're going to have to run up the steps, and that'll be your turn. I'll throw a javelin. Go for it. Well, I just refreshed D&D &D Beyond, and it fixed my hit points. Wow. Interesting. All right. Throw your javelin. There he is. Attack. Ah, you use the good dice. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Or damage. We'll do the damage. And one more, second tack. That hits. Damage. Another five. Dorgal, you're up. See, I told you about that half or that dragon boar. She's been talking trash about you all day. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody talks with me. Second attack. Nope, nothing. Light finger. See, I'm just a defenseless little half orc. <laughs> is that a torch to the right of me? It is. Okay, I'd like to move. It's actually lit by a uh, a spell. It is not lit by fire. Oh, damn it! Well, there goes that idea. Um. I'm just going to take a regular bow shot at the troll. Go ahead. He's engaged, so you'll still get the sneak attack thing. Okay. That hits. Nine plus. Nine is 18. Everlight. Okay, I need to move. So you can move I'll thirty-five is how far you can move. You can move five more. Well, if I'm there, then there's a wall blocking my view. What if you so go thirty-five? Can you see him then? Well, I don't know. 
I don't know either. If I let me go twenty five first. Okay, that's fair. Oh, well, you can see him from there, right? Uh, no. Oh, really? Interesting. How far do you see? You have 60-foot dark vision. You don't see him? He's over here. He's 60. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was looking in the wrong area. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. So I'm good there. Let me uh, attack with my longbow. And you're actually shooting from distance as opposed to 10, 15 feet away. Should I move closer? No, and you're fine. Him. It's not any different. You can be... Okay. That's a hit. Yeah. It's showing off. 12. That's a hit. Additional eight. He is definitely bloodied. Dayless is going to do his thing. Why does it say that combat hasn't started? It does for me. Well, that's not helpful. Then refresh your screen. Oh, is that the deal? It seems to be. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. He hits, he does 10 to the troll, and the troll has been fired, as it were. <laughs> All right. Troll's turn, who does not regenerate. Just likes Dorigal. One claw this time. Another nine. Lepore? I was trying to figure out how far away he is. You could probably zigzag it. Yeah. I can do control. Yep. Or is it shift? It's control. It would be 40 feet. It's 40 feet? Uh, yep. So you can move 30 of it. And then is he within uh, range? You're going to have to... You have to throw some more javelins at him. This depends where you want to be. What is javelin range? I'm not even sure. It is 30 feet. Okay. Uh, technically, her other stuff should have been a disadvantage, I guess. Oh, well. So how do I move my javelin into slot two? Uh, you would drag it over to slot two. See if that worked. Oh, yeah. It just took a second. Okay. Go for it. Oh. That's hit. A 
That's another hit. Ten plus. One more. Ten plus five is fifteen. I feel like I'm on delay with this thing. It seems like it's a lot slower. I think your internet sucks from the bedroom. Dorgal, you're up. You're up. Who, me again? You are. He's critical. You can finish him for not listening to you. Should have fought a little poorer instead. Oh, yeah. You do a nice he finishing. Pops like a balloon. He pops like a balloon. There you go. All right. I think Dorgo could use a little healing. Call, call it a hunch. I can help with that. Do you have any lay on hands left? Think so. Hold uh, on. Uh, yeah, I think you have all of it left. Yep, twenty-five out of twenty-five. I am having trouble finding it on this new sheet. It's right in the middle of the sheet. It says lay on hands pool right underneath the words that say spell book. You have to go into attributes. Oh, attributes. I was in spell book. Okay. Yeah. Click uh, attributes and it'll be under spell book. It will say lay on hands pool. That's a uh, little bit north of smack dab in the middle. It says it's right next to acrobatics and am animal handling to the right. You got it? Nope. You see attributes? You see your strength? Yep. I see the strength. Keep going to your right. You see acrobatics? Yes. Go to your right. Do you see lay on hands pool? Okay, yes. Okay, you got 25 out of 25. And how many uh, is he missing? Uh, I don't know. Talk to him. How many are you missing? A lot. A lot. <laughs> All right. You get 20. All right. So you can go and you can probably just click on the 25. So it's 5 over 25, and that should be fine. 25. You can just. There you go. Good job. All right. What time is it? We okay. searched the troll. Nah, he's just a mucky troll who hides underwater, under bridges. Thank you for the healing. No problem. All right. All right. We'll move forward. Wherever you want. You coming across the bridge, Everlight? Sure. It's making sure. I guess we're going north. Looks like the mob is heading in that direction. <clears throat> uh. 
All right. All right. Uh, okay. Don't hear anything. All right, so you open the door. You see a sealed copper vat stand in two rows in the middle of the room. The vats are old and completely covered in um, like a moss. Uh, most of the paint on the walls peeled away long ago, but a few hints of murals remain showing dwarves walk working in the fields, tending hop vines. Uh, uh, three new backpack sized glass, ta glass tanks with uh, carrying harnesses are stacked neatly at the end of the row of vats. Doors are to the west, east, and south. Aren't we in the door to the east? You are. Oh, okay. If anyone's saying anything, I don't hear nothing. Nope. Okay, just making sure. We're all standing around looking at bats. Can you guys hear? Yes, I can. Yes. Can me? Are, are the bats empty? Uh, Jim, you're breaking up. I asked if the vats were empty. Uh, which are you checking out? Well, I mean, there's there's the old vats that go into the line, and then there's like th the three containers that are um, newer and by the end. So, which one are we talking about? I'll check out the newer ones. Okay. Um, the the newer ones. So you they look about. I mean, they're they're made of glass. They're about half full. So the glass is half full. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Anything magical about them that we can find out? Uh, possibly. You got to wait about 10 minutes for uh, Daedalus to, uh, to, to, to cast. Do you want to, okay. do you want to wait? I say so. Yeah. Let, let Daedalus cast his spell. Okay. Uh, for right now, nope, you don't see nothing. Hmm. All right, guys, which door, west or south? West. All right. I'm going to listen. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to say that you, uh, again, you, you occasionally hear some sounds on the other side of the door. Can't make out really what they are. More trolls, I bet. <laughs> what if we listen to the door on the south? All right. You can spin again. Oof. Sounds pretty quiet. Little poorer, you want to take a shot at it? <laughs> nah, y'all metagaming on me. I'm just saying. Okay. Well, let's just go to the south. You got it. All right. No, not very exciting. Okay. In stealth, I'll go west. All right. Um, Oh. Oh, what? I can see the guy hiding behind the arrow slit. Oh, can you? Oh. They must have a little... Yeah, you can. How about that? Damn, people. I didn't draw this map. <laughs> well, he sees you, too. Whoever made that map made a uh, slight error. It was not me. I downloaded it. Yeah, they did. They made it. A, they made it a big hour slit. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Out. Fair enough. Uh, he uh, he goes away. I saved my game. <laughs> All right, hold on one second. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to do... Hold on. Okay. Um, you got it. Whoa, okay. All right, it's, uh, it's been a very combat heavy night. One more initiative. Let me try and get most of you. Everlight, I'll say that you're there. You weren't moving with the group, but I'll say you're right there. I can move. Well, you, you were in the room still when they moved down the hall. We'll put you yeah, there. I was, I was just starting to move. Oh, good. Oh, I got to do data list as well. Man, he can spin. Oh, I actually know why. Uh, Everlight and Little Poor. Working on it. All right. All right. Well, Little Poor literally can't spin as high as some of these folks. So, uh... Is it spinning at all? I can't see anything. I... I I don't see. I don't hear nothing. I don't know what you're doing. What are All you right. trying to do? Um, just, just click on the little die in the initiative order, and you'll be fine. All right. Cool beans. Uh, Daedalus will... Oh, my bad. Uh, let's do this. 
He will move, I think he has 30. Whoop. Oh, I do it this way, 30. And... He's just going to hang there. He's not sure what to do. Light finger, you're up. If you're saying something, Jim, I don't hear you. I see you light up, but you don't I don't hear anything. I don't know what you're attacking because I don't think you can see anything, can you? Let's see. I'm gonna take a shot into the Alright, you're just gonna shoot inside? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, you take a blind shot. You don't know what happened. You don't hear anybody screaming, so... Are you going to stay there? I say that we should go back uh, to the other west door in the previous room, because they won't expect us from that direction. Great idea. Since I'm already there, I don't have to move. Perfect. Well, Lightfinger has plenty of movement, being a thief. Uh, rogue, showing my age. <laughs> Jim, do you want to move back, or do you want to stay there? And we don't hear you again. He's going to stay. Okay. Uh, Everlight, you're up. Okay, well, since I'm in that room already, um, I don't know. Should I move out into the hallway? No. Open the door. The western door? Yes. All right. Do I have to move first? You do. Okay, can move fifteen feet, and then open the door. Okay. And now I'll move another five feet. All right. I can see uh, one of them southwest of me. So, um, where you're at, you see, uh, one second. Parts of this chamber are buried in piles of cr crumbling masonry, but enough remains intact to serve as an arcane workshop. A long wooden table in the middle of the room is littered with pieces of complicated apparatus involving a large glass tank, copper fillings and piping, and a leather-carrying harness, while shelves full of um, chemical reagents stand against the south wall. The air is quite cold in here, and a chill mist clings to the floor. Uh, an adjoining, large adjoining room to the north looks like someone's a, a bedchamber. Um, that's what you got. Uh, that's what you got here. And you've got a number of... Uh, yeah, a number of other folks in the room, for sure. number of, of guards. Okay, so that's a guard to my southwest? Yep. All right. Hmm.
can I, rather than attack, can I talk to one of the guards? Or should I talk to one of the guards? Uh, that's up to you, whatever you think you should do. All right, I'm going to ask. Can, you can certainly hear the scuffling around, like you see a door to the south, and you hear commotion coming from the door to the south. Okay, Which but is... I don't know if these guards are hostile. Like if they're going to attack me if I go into the room. Well, two of them definitely see you. They have their they they have you know weapons and a shield. You've met similar guards like this before. Um, Start shooting. Ask questions later. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what I'll say. We come in peace, but then shoot to kill. Go for it. Go for it. You mean attack them? If if you want to, go for it. It, That's what I'm kind of hearing. Whatever you want to do, it's your character. I don't want to tell you what to do. Little poor, you hear from on the corner. Shoot them. Not that she can see, but that's up to you. What do you want to do? Um. I want to ask the guard okay. near, nearest me, mm-hmm. what is this room and what are you guarding? Um, she'll say, uh, You know, we are, um, we are, uh, Morboth's guards. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm an insurance salesman. (laughs) Okay. Quite confused, but okay. (laughs) <laughs> are are you going to stop there or she's not buying it there's not too many insurance salesmen around well let's see I can move another 15 feet sounds about right you going to go further into the room just shoot him with your crossbow <laughs> yeah well I don't know if, <laughs> if the guard is hostile or not and if I do attack, then he's definitely or she's definitely going to be hostile. We're taking him out. Come on. <laughs> All right. What do you guys think? Attack. Attack. If you can hear me, yes. <laughs> yes, I can hear you. Okay. Everybody else okay with me attacking? Attack, attack. All right. Hang on. Go get him. That's what you're going to do. It's up to you. Yes, I'll attack the one to the southwest. Go for it. Um, That will hit. Okay, eight. Another shot? Sure, you get two. That's a hit. Another eight. She's pretty hurt from that. Um, you've got a little bit more of movement. What do you want to do? I think I'll stay put. Okay.
Well, this has gotten interesting. Um, okay. There's more people. <laughs> There's a few more people. You are correct. Um, uh, We got one there. A guard comes around the corner. He will attack Ever or she, he or she, whatever will attack Everlight. I guess it's a she in this. They're all women. Does an 18 hit? Oh. Yes, it does. You'll take five. That's not too bad. Uh, let's go one, two, three. Because <coughs> I'm tight. Thank you. Uh, go one, two, uh, ah, fudge. I know where I'm going anyway. There you go. Lapora, you're up. You got some bugbears coming around the corner. Oh, good. I like to fight bug bears. Okie dokies. How close are they? They are right next to you. Oh, okay. Even better. So I can flail them? Oh, cripes. Uh, yes, you can. Actually, I'm going to... Ah, never mind. I want to keep them. Damn, bug bears got defective. Flay on my way. The one directly south of you? Sure. Okay. Uh, that will be a hit. Damage. Very good. And second attack. That was my second attack. Uh, oh, okay. Then you hit once. Give me damage then. I'm sorry. Damage for one attack, please. Okay, so 12. Okay. Um, I'm going to have one there. She's going to chuck a javelin at Everlight. There goes. It's a miss. Dorgal, you're up. Oh, goody. I've got uh, bad decisions and bad decisions. Um, I guess I'd go better help Everlight. Since Thanks. he's all by his lonesome. 
Okay. All right. Let's see, my movement I think is twenty five. Oh, my movement is thirty. I'll I'll let you get you be, if you go diagonals you would probably be right next to Everlight I believe yeah I was convinced I could get right next to him I would say you go diagonal you could do it but if I went with the measuring tool and did uh, that uh, that 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 well something like that's thirty. Up oh, fudge. There it goes. We'll go with it. All right. Oh, this isn't too bad. There's only there's only five of them. There you go. All right. And I used my movement, which is okay. It's no big deal. Uh, I'm going to attack the one right in front of me. Go for it. Uh, that hits. Looks like an eight. Okay, and I'll attack again. Okay. That's a hit. Another eight. You should have bought insurance. <laughs> <laughs> she is definitely bloodied. Thank you. Uh, okay. Just double check. Okay. Um, let's see if I do this here. Uh, okay. You hear someone casting a spell from around the corner. Who? Uh, yeah, who are you talking to? Uh, it would be uh, Everlight and Dorigal. <laughs> Bugbear is going to throw a javelin at Little Pora. Oh, yeah, I need him. Uh, javelin. And he misses. This one gonna hang out there for, for right now. And we'll throw one more javelin at Little Pora. Which misses. Where am I at? She's going to hang there. And this is probably the last one. Yep. Uh, she has to move to do it. It was pushes she doesn't move. <laughs> Right, top of the order for Daedalus. What's this Shouldn't boy have? Should be in two separate rounds. What's that? Shouldn't we be in two separate initiative rounds? Maybe. This is easier for me for right now. So that way I know where everyone's at in, in the spots. 
Uh, sure. Uh, boop. There you go. So let's do let's do this. I have to do that mm. and do that. Ah, uh, there's, there's some way to do it. Continue to do it. I'll do five of them. So one, uh, two, three, four, five. Pretty good. Nice. Uh, a, a pattern of colors appears over the bugbears, and I'd say four of them st start staring at it like so pretty. So I'm gonna put a I'll put a marker on those four. Uh, that one, and that one, and Daedalus has to have a concentration, I don't want him invisible, I want a concentration spell, which will go with, uh, I don't know, we'll go with uh, uh, that one, and can he see him all, he couldn't, well, he doesn't have, he has to see the target, so he has to move to here. All right. Um, okay. Uh, Daedalus says, don't wake the bugbears. If you leave them alone, they'll leave okay. you alone. All of them dazed, or just except the one to your southeast. All the ones with the little moon sleeping sign in the in the corner are the ones that are dazed. Uh, yep, he's good. Like finger, you're up, and we probably can't hear you. <laughs> can you hear me? Oh wow, yeah. we can. Okay, great. All right, so I'm going to move southeast just to block the mage. Okay. If I can, it actually don't won't hold on to control. Just just move, you guys. Oh. Yeah. Otherwise, you got to hit. You got to hit space to to make it actually execute the movement. Okay. Ooh. I that's weird. Oh, what the hell? It won't move over. Like if you just don't even use the control button, let's pick up your guy and move him one space. Yeah, okay. There you go. There you go. All right. And I will raid uh short sword attack the one directly to myself, the one that isn't affected by the spell. Go for it. That's a hit. Nine plus. Eleven is twenty. Okay. And that's my move. All right. He's he's bloodied for sure. All right. I need a, there we go. Thank you. All right, Everlight, you're up. Okay, I got two close to me. Which one is the stronger one? Uh, the one in front of you is totally healthy. The one that Dorgo hit is um, is definitely bloodied. 
Hmm. Well, the one that's healthy is going to probably probably hurt me more. Well, that's not the way it works. So whether you're full damage or almost dead, you hit for the same amount of damage. Does it matter? Okay. If I were to cast a spell on one of them, would I have to attack that same one? Depends on the... Well, if you cast a spell, it probably means you don't get to use your bow or your swords, right? Because they're both actions. Depends on the spell, but probably not if you try and do something cool. I was going to do ensnaring strike. Oh, okay. Uh, ensnaring strike. I don't even know if you have any spell slots. Do you? Your all you have is one second level spell. Your first level spells are used up. Which is the cauldron of arrows. You could use ensnaring strike at second level, but it would do a little bit more damage. I would probably just go and hit something. All right, I'm going to use my swords on the weakened one. Good choice. Okay, here's first one. Always kill the ones near death. Um, that's a hit. Uh, nine. That kills it. Okay. Yay! You got another swing to swing. Okay, so against the other one. Go for it. Ah, uh, that's going to miss. Clangs off the shield. Okay. Uh, oh, what a shock. It's the it's the awake bugbear. Uh, let's see, Mr. Awake Bugbear. What is your intelligence? Because <laughs> unsight. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Not a good spin. He's just going to attack somebody here. He spun a one, so he's not smart enough to uh, to wake up his brothers. Uh, but he will attack the guy who just stabbed him. Uh... Ah, well, he critically missed. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, uh, this one will attack... um, The one right in front of uh, Everlight will attack Everlight. And that's a miss. All right. Bugbear's asleep. Or I, I should say staring at the pretty lights. Little Pora, you're up. I'll attack the one bugbear that is not asleep. Go get him. Just getting a funky delay. Okay. Spin the attack. That's a hit. Give me damage. Oh, yeah, he's dead. All right, so I'll give you your choice. Um, So this person, so you still have an attack, right? Uh, The other bugbear in front of you is incapacitated. He's just staring at the pretty lights. 
So uh, let's see. Does that give you what does it do? What does it do? What does it do? Does it make sure can't take actions or reactions. So okay. I mean, you could spin to hit it, or just leave it alone. I you know, you don't get any bonuses to hit him, but um, if you leave him alone, he's stunned for the next like nine rounds. He's not going to bother you. I think I'm going to go over to the other group and help out with those people that are. Go for it. Move. move. You can move, move. Uh, move 30 feet. C can you just help me do that? Because I don't have uh, my full use of a mouse. Okay, no problem. I'll put you there. Since you attacked, you can't double move. Understood. Uh, stunned bugbear. Meanwhile, back on the other side. This healthy one will go and go after uh, Dorigal. Oh, wow. 21. I actually hit him. Yeah, that hits. You you take three. And you're up. All right. Yeah, that's a mess. That's a hit. All right, seven damage. All right. Oh, yeah, no worries. Um, Uh, oh, okay. Sure, sounds like fun. Uh, let's see. You have a, uh, an, an old looking male with, uh, where one eye used to be is like a blue glow that uh, comes around the corner. And he casts it at... Yep, okay. Let's go with... Cast it at Everlight. So a blue ray comes out of his eye and shoots towards Everlight. Uh, where is it? Do, 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 do. There it is. Um, if it hits, it didn't spin the hit. Well, that was annoying. So let's do how to do a, a that doesn't do it, huh? No, it does not. Well, I got to spin the hit, so I guess I do it the old-fashioned way. So slash one d twenty plus uh, two. He misses the eye. The the blue ray flies over your shoulder. Amen. <laughs> uh, this one here doesn't have anything to do. It's She didn't throw a javelin yet. She's going to throw her javelin. She'll go after... Everlight's the one who started all this. 
she misses. Yeah, I started it when I just wanted to talk instead of attack. That's what I get for listening to my cohort. This one's going to move over here. This one's going to move over here. Top it around, Daedalus. Um, he's going to leave these guys charmed. What's he got? He's got 30 feet. Trying to finish it up. But that's going to be his turn. Light finger. All right. I think, <laughs> and I was reading about this today, I think I can move 75 feet if I do this right. Okay. First thing, I'm going to. Uh, yes, you can. Move. Okay. So movement here. Wait, okay. So let's see. Oh, that's. You can move 50 and still do an attack, or you move 75 and. Uh, oh, anything more than 50 and you cannot um, attack. But you can move up to 50 and still attack. Right. You can use your so, dash okay, so action. This gets me to 25 right here. Yeah. All right. So. Click and move another 5, another 20. You'd be. You could. Uh, maybe. You could get somewhere and be within bow range. Depends where you want to be. Yeah, I'm going to try to get within bow range is the thing. That's probably too much. You can move four more squares. That, I'm assuming that door. Oh, if you, do, if you move that many squares, then you can't shoot the bow. Yeah, I'm going to end up right here. Uh, right here, I think. Um... Well, I can't fire on anything anyway, so I might as well just use the rest of my movement to get here and just sit here. You want to be there? All right. That's where I'll be, right there. All right. Hey, buddy. Hey. Are you Everlight, doing? you're up. Okay, so the one right next to me, um, which one's the the weaker one of the two close to me? Uh, the one to the southwest. All right. I'm going to attack that with my sword. Okay. Uh, it's a miss. All right. The other sword. Um, okay, that hits. All right. Seven damage. Uh, one of them will attack you. Everlight. Oh, okay. is that one attack or two? You did, that's what you missed with one. Never mind, she missed. Sleeping bugbear. Little Pora, you're up. Can you move me another 30 feet? Absolutely. Uh, where do you want to be, I guess is the question. That would be... Uh, well, you can't do that. Er, er, er. Uh, I got to move you. Whoop, fudge. Uh, whoop, what is this? There we go. Ah, uh, that's 30. 
you can see one of them I probably can just do the javelin. I cannot do the flail, right? I'm too far away. Too far away. Too much crap between you and everybody else. All right. Then I will... Crowded area. I'll javelin the, close, the guy that I can see that is... Go for Set. it. All right. Is there only one? Uh, you, you can throw two javelins. Okay. What time is it? Oh, cripes, it's 20 of 12. Didn't rise up that late. We got a late start. That's a hit. That's a hit. Ten plus. Seventeen. She's definitely bloodied. Sleeping bugbear. Uh, the one in front of Dorgal will take a swipe at Dorgal. It's a miss. Dorgo, you're up. All right. I'll take a swipe at the one directly in front of me. Go for it. That's a hit. <clears throat> uh, she's dead. Do 10 points of damage. <clears throat> She'd be dead. Okay. And I'm going to swipe at the other one, the one to the north. Yep. <coughs> ah, that's a mess. Okay, and with my move, uh, I'm going to move. I really am. I'm going to move. <laughs> Just there. All right. Sounds like a plan. All right. Um, the guy with one eye casts a spell, and now there's four of them. And they're all kind of moving around, making it pretty confusing on which one to hit. And he'll move back to here. Sleeping bugbear. This one will move up. And she's pretty damaged, but she's pissed off, so she's going to attack Dorigal. She, I think, hits exactly, right? You're a 20? Yeah, that'll hit. Take nine. Sleeping bugbear. She'll move there. She'll move there. Do you want to try and finish this combat, or you want to take a take a break? It'll probably take ten minutes. What do you want to do? Or call it a night? You want to try and finish this? Um, I say I'll say finish it. That's my opinion. All right. Yeah, let's finish it. All right. Uh, Daedalus. So he's got a concentration spell, so he can't do anything else with concentration spells. So he'll he'll do fireball because he's holding all those bugbears at bay. Right. <laughs> he hits the one in front of Everlight. Takes thirteen, and she is dead. Yeah. Lightfinger. Uh, I'll take a 
No, I'm going to move in and attack to the one, the one to the uh, west of Dorigal. Okay. Ah, uh, that's a miss. Everlight. Okay. Using my swords on the one closest to me. Ah, uh, there was no one closest to you. You gotta move that's up. That's me! <laughs> oh, I thought there was one below him. Ah, uh, there was a second ago. They died. Well, you if you want to, you gotta move closer if you want to hit somebody with swords. You gotta be next to him. Oh, well, in that case, I'll use my bow. You can bow away. All right. Um, the ones near me, is there one that's weaker? Uh, the one next to Dorigal is, is the weakest. Okay. Attacking that one with my longbow. Go for it. It's a hit. She's dead. Nice shot. Got one more shot. Okay. So I guess the one directly west of me. Okay. That's a hit. 11. Ouch. Sleeping bugbear, a little pora. Can you move me so I'm next to somebody I can hit? Absolutely. I'll put you right in front of Everlight. The one that... Or in front of uh, Lightfinger at Everlight Shot. Excuse me. Swing away. <clears throat> Aha! Critical spin. She she's gonna die. Do your critical hit or damage. Okay. That would be ten twenty-five. Oh yeah, they're dead. She's dead. Um you can move another five feet and take a second swing at the other one. You have five feet left. Okay, can you move it? I did. Thank you. Ah, that's going to be a mess. Dorgal? All right, I'll move forward 10 feet, and I'll swing at this one. Go for it. <clears throat> ah. Critical damage. All right. I do extra critical damage, so I'll roll. Yep, that's 612. Twelve and seven is nineteen. It is critical. Hit it again and you'll finish her. Yep, she's dead. That hits exactly. They shouldn't have made us mad. All right. Uh, sure. So, let's see. Okay. Um... All right. All 
I need everyone in everyone but Daedalus has to make a wisdom saving throw, please. I have a question. Yes, sir. My halfling has advantage against being frightened. Is this the same thing? Absolutely. You can take it you can take advantage, please. Okay. Everlight made it. Little poor Dorgal did not. Yep. Uh did you make it ever um light finger? You made it with that one. No problem. Okay. Do I need to do anything? You do not, but little Pora and Dorgal are scared shitless. <laughs> And on their turn, they will have to take the dash action to move away uh, by the safest route possible until there's nowhere to move. The creature ends its turn. It doesn't have to lie in sight. It can make a thing. So for right now, that's that's where it's at. Bugbear, bugbear. Top of the order. Daedalus. Well, he can see him. Daedalus is going to do what Daedalus is going to do. He does hit. Give me one second, please. Uh, let's see. You have to spend a D20. He spins a 20. Um, he hits one of the duplicates. So the the uh, the firebolt hits one of the duplicates and it dispersed. So now there's the real guy and two guys. Lightfinger, who is not frightened. Um, Dom. Yes. Do you still have cordon of arrows? Okay, DM, can I delay my action until after Dom? You can. Dom goes, is that a possibility or no? Dom, if you lay down Cordon of Arrows, you're going to hit all of him. And then maybe I'll know who, which one is the real guy. What do you think? I think okay. the only thing that's bad with that is I believe Cordon of Arrows takes 10 minutes to cast. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Let Never mind. Oh no! It takes an action. Never to see. One second. One second. Oh, I lied. Yeah, but I, I don't think Everlight has a spell slot. He has a second level spell slot if he really wants to do it. So he'd have to take. He would lose four bolts. Uh, you lay him in the thing. He's already within 30 feet, so I don't think it's going... Is he within 30 feet? Let's see. 10... He's exactly 30 feet. He'd have to move up to set it off, but you could try and do something like that if you want. Or you could just fight him. What do you think, Tom? Sure, I'll try it. Which um, one you try? Move and then set the cordon of arrows. Okay. So where should I move to? Wherever you want. Why does he have to move up to set it? He's too close. If you read the spell carefully, he has to move into the 30-foot area for the first time to set it off. So You could just shoot him with two bow shots, and if you hit both times, you're either going to hit him or you're going to kill his two illusions. There's that. All right, let me do that. Fire away. Don't miss. <laughs> He'll take out at least one of them. Nice. That's something that is an 11. Oh, I'm going to do that. There you go. I got to read the spell again. So with 
two duplicates, you must roll an eight and higher, which he did. So you took out another. So you have to spin. Yeah, you did. So um, you took out a duplicate. Spin again. That will be something. I have to see which one you targeted. Uh, you actually targeted the real guy and you missed. So it's him and one duplicate. All right. <clears throat> Bugbear Lilipora. Well, Finn and Light oh, Finger whoa, whoa. delayed his action until after that. Oh, that's right, so... that's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, I'll take a bow shot on him. Go ahead. Um... <coughs> <coughs> oh, that is a concentration spell, so I should put a concentration marker on him. Nice. Whack. Okay. You hit him. All right. It is. It is not any. Uh, bleh. it's not your your your. Your backstabby damage does your normal damage for your bow. Right. 11. Uh, one second. I need to do a... Uh, sh sure. He keeps his fear concentration. So, little Poro, <laughs> you have to move your your full movement away from him. Can and, move up. And hold on. Nope, you gotta move away from him. Creature enters her. If you move away and you don't see him, then you can make a wisdom saving throw to try and end the spell. So if I move okay. you away, say it's 20, 30 feet. Uh, wisdom saving throw, please. Okay. Did you spin it? No, I had to click on my guy. It take oh. Is it that slow for Time everyone else? It seems like it's just just uh, just Vicky. Just All right. All right. You are unfeared. Thank you. You're welcome. Sleeping <laughs> bugbear, Dorigal. All right. Go around the corner. Yep. Do you want to be there or you want to get out of line of sight? Oh, that's I true. She's got, a, I she's got a dash as well, doesn't she? You're right. Hold on one second. There we go. I can't see him now. All right. Uh... Yeah, you got to move your dash action. And you don't have your weapon. You had to drop your weapon, just so you guys know. I can't um... drop my weapon. Doesn't let you. You have a ability for that. Well, I can summon my weapon anytime I want to. So. Oh, I get it. Yeah. All right. Well, you're still you're still frightened. All right. Uh, we'll get rid of that. This guy's turn. Um. Sure. This guy's going to move forward 15 feet. We'll do that.
All right, Everlight and Lightfinger, make a constitution save, please. Nope, and... Makes it exactly. So, damage... That should do it, 3d8, right? Yes. Um, Everlight, you take 16 thunder Ooh. damage as a loud boom goes off and a force wave comes out from the person. So wow. Everlight takes 16. Lightfinger, you take 8. And Everlight is blown back 15 feet. Don't you hate when that happens? <laughs> Bugbear, bugbear, top of the order. Well, there's only one thing that Daedalus ever does for right now. He's going to go with this. Uh, that is going to be a hit either way. And he takes out the last duplicate. So the guy's there by himself. Nice. Light finger, you're up. Uh, I'm killing one on Willie right now. Go for it. Going to close up to him and short sword. Uh, that will, I think, hit exactly. Yes, it does. Hits exactly. Whew. Because of your swashbuckly thing, you will get your extra damage. Right. Eight plus. Twelve is twenty. He is definitely bloodied. Light, ever light, you're up. All right. Oh, wait one second. Sorry. Uh, boop. 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 Never mind. Dorgo's still frightened. You're up, Everlight. Okay. I thought I rolled on my turn. Oh, oh that's because he took check. concentration check. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. Time to get even. <laughs> With my longbow. Of course. Uh, that hits. Is 12. He's pretty hurting. Okay. He's just about critical. Ah, uh, I couldn't quite finish him off. All right. Sleeping bugbear, little Pora. You can basically can you... run back to where you were and pick up your weapon. Okay. Can you move me? Yep. Already did it. And that was a double move to get you there, so that's your turn. Wait. Is he in the room? Yes, he is. He's right in front of you. Can I do a single move and throw a javelin? Uh, if you move... Sure, you can move probably... You'd have to be behind Daedalus somewhere in the other room, but sure. Okay. I'll put you, wanna... like, there. Behind, yeah. the, behind the pots. That's Go what for I it. Want. Throw a good call. Throw your javelin. And actually, he has to make another constitution save because uh, Everlight hit him once. So uh, that makes it. Yep. Did you hit? Let's see. Jesus. Finish him. <laughs> Yes, it's a hit. Hit him in his good eye. Nah. <laughs> Six. Ah, uh, that kills him exactly. Ah. Uh, yay. Yes. <laughs> and there was much rejoicing. Dorgal <laughs> is no longer frightened.
And I'm not going to go, because it's late, I'm not going to have you go through the pain, but you just basically kill the bug, go back near the room and kill the bugbears one at a time, I take it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Straight, straight up murder. Okay. There you go. And it's midnight. That's a good spot to stop it. Yep. All right. <laughs>